Unraveling the Mystery, at the End of Time. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring a phrase that's as intriguing as it is poetic, at the end of time. This expression is rich in meaning and often found in literature, movies, and deep conversations. So, if you've ever wondered what lies at the end of time, you're in the right place. Let's unravel this mystery together. At the end of time, refers to the ultimate point or the final moment in the existence of the universe, earth, or time itself. It's a concept often associated with apocalyptic scenarios, eschatology, a part of theology concerned with the final events of history, or simply the end of an era. In literature and films, this phrase is used to evoke a sense of finality or the ultimate fate of humanity and the world. Beyond its literal interpretation, at the end of time, is also used metaphorically to express enduring love or commitment. When someone says, I will love you until the end of time, they mean their love is eternal and unconditional, transcending the confines of earthly time. This usage highlights the phrase's versatility and its ability to convey deep emotional truths. Throughout history, the idea of the end of time has inspired countless works of art, music, and literature. It serves as a powerful motif that challenges creators and audiences alike to reflect on themes of finality, eternity, and the human condition. Whether it's in the dramatic closing scenes of a movie or the haunting lines of a poem, this phrase enriches our cultural and artistic landscapes. For English language learners, understanding the context in which, at the end of time, is used is crucial. Here are some tips. Pay attention to context. Is the phrase used literally, to describe a cosmic event, or figuratively, to express something timeless? Recognize emotional undertones. Especially in poetic or romantic contexts, the phrase often conveys deep feelings or commitments. Practice with examples. Try creating your own sentences using the phrase both literally and figuratively to grasp its nuances. We hope this journey to, at the end of time, has enlightened you and expanded your appreciation for the English language's beauty and complexity. Remember, phrases like these are gateways to not only better language skills but also to deeper thinking and feeling. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to exploring more mysteries of the English language with you. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.